Hey guys, welcome back to episode number 9 of Ashes Cricket Career Mode. I apologise for my long absence on YouTube for the past couple of weeks. I've been really busy with school going back and then my controller decided to break so I wasn't able to record for about three weeks and when I eventually did get a lone one the um, right stick was faulty and so I played one game with that one and it did not work at all. I missed the ball about every single time, either that or it just played extremely late, but still, I'm sorry for my absence, let's get back into our career mode, we are playing against Gold Coast, they went into bat first, Hodge and Foster are at the crease as we come in to bowl our first over, and it's a nice little clip away to the leg side for a single to start the proceedings as we pointlessly take off the bales. But here we go, at fifth ball of this over, and it was not the best of balls, a bit leg side, and nicely clipped away by Foster. He picks himself up a boundary, and eight runs off the first over, a bit expensive. And then, that was a nice ball, uh, he played and missed out it, sorry, he got a bit tongue tangled there. So there we bowl another nice ball, he leaves it outside the off stump, we were getting a nice bit of swing, and then a big edge and it went through the vacant point region, unfortunately the point fielder was m a bit more, um, what, what, would, what would that be, squarer, a bit more squarer rather than finer, and they picked themselves up two more runs, here we go, coming back in again, and we hit him on the pads, this looks close to being out. But the umpire did not think it was going to hit the stumps. And we did not pick up our wicket there. And then we just miss the off stump there as Hodge completely plays around that one. And we pick up a maiden over. Nice bowling. Getting it all in that good area and stuff. But Stain picked up the second wicket as we saw there on that quick simulation. Hodgy getting out for 23, bowl staying at Stumps Sutherland, and that brought Develd to the crease while we were bowling to Foster here. And a nice delivery. It's 2 for 59 after 20 overs. So they're going along at a good three runs and over. And that one turned quite a bit. I think it might have been a leg cutter. But I think that was another maiden over there, so we've been... Bowling quite well after that first over, and we completely beat the bat there. It wasn't a good ball, but it was an even worse shot from Foster. And here we go, looking for another maiden over, and somehow that misses the leg stump. Another poor shot from Foster, but another maiden over for us. So we were bowling quite well here, and we come back, and the score is 5 for 176. Develd has battled his way to 72 off 74, but Foster... Kamalo and Murphy have all gotten out. Al Deli picking up his first wicket, which was Foster, out for 29. They're now 5 for 176. The keeper, Bo Stevenson, has joined Develd, who we are bowling to here as he leaves that one. But we're not getting as much swing as earlier in the day, which is unfortunate. As we hit him on the pads there, he, wasn't, he didn't play that one very well at all. Unfortunately, I think it was pitching outside leg. And the umpire seemed to agree there. But looking for another maiden over. Some good fielding from the square league fielder. Uh, uh, enabled us to pick up another nice maiden over. So I'm not sure what, what's our um, figures now. Well that was the last over before. Was that lunch? Probably tea. Or maybe it could have been lunch. I'm not sure. But our figures are now none for 15 off 7 overs, which is quite good bowling if you ask me. But here we go, back after that break, bowling to Stevenson. He looks to hit it through the covers, but it's well fielded. Yeah, that one a bit on the pads and some poor fielding at square leg with that guy looking off into the distance, probably wondering what he's going to eat for dinner. And they pick up a quick single. 
I mean, that was two actually, not a quick single. And here we go, coming in for our ninth over of innings. That was a very nice delivery. Got a bit of a leading edge there, Stevenson, and it just fell short of the cover fielder. He played that one quite late as well. And then he, but he played that one much more, much better. But no run there. They could have got a quick single if they were really trying, but they don't really need more wickets here with 5 for 191. One more wicket would allow us to get into the tail as he plays a nice defensive shot there. And here we go. Next ball by Stevenson again. Bowling quite a few cross seamers. That one a bit of an inside edge. Again, they could have got a single, but I guess Develd wasn't really up to running. He's been out 83 off 88, so either he hit a crap ton of boundaries or just has been running a lot, so he must he's probably pretty tired. As we get another dot ball, so we're building lots of pressure here. Could we pick up a maiden, which I think would be our third or fourth of the innings? Unfor no, unfortunately, fortunately, that one didn't beat the mid-on fielder, and we got another maiden. But as we come back on here, the score, they've dropped to 9 for 2-3-2. Develd getting out for 98. I got the catch. Stain picking up the wicket, who now has four in the innings. Stevenson out for 30, and two more wickets fell. I think one was to Kel Saul, and the other one might have been to Stain. Here we're going to try and pick up the last wicket. They're 9 for 2 3 2 as Heading hits that out to the square leg fielder and just picks up a single. So they decide not to go for two. Try, we tried the Yorker again. That one whizzed past our ear there. I've been noticing that it's very difficult to get a caught and bowled. It never seems to come up with anything like that as an inside edge onto the pad there and then that was quite a poor delivery and he even Blaine McMason the number 10 or is he 11 well he's tail ender he's able to smack it for six and I apologize if you can hear that car in the background uh, here we can't get heading out again with uh, your cover coming round the wicket that one, see again, that one could have been caught and bowled, but it didn't seem to want to let me. Here we go, can we pick up the last wicket? That one, a bit in the air, the umpire ducks, and it's well stopped at mid on. And here, we bowl McMason with a beauty, he just went for a big smack, completely missed it, and a strong last wicket partnership for Gold Coast. But they're still out for what is probably an under par 270 score. You're knocking the middle stump out of the ground there. What a nice delivery. So that will be the end of the innings. 73, 70.4 70 overs in. But we played nicely. We made our way to 4 for 130. But this was going to be a key partnership here between us and Todd Ambrose, with not long remaining in the first day, we're going to need to battle through until stumps. Phillips made himself a 50, while no one else seemed to get going. They got a bit of a start, but couldn't. only Ambrose has since reached 20. We trailed by 100 and... was that 140? Yeah, it would be 140. Um, Warwick bowling as Ambrose doesn't really control that pull shot very well, but picks up a single. Here we go, facing our first ball. It's Warwick bowling to us. What can we do? It's well defended. That was a nice delivery. Here we go, bowling, facing another one, and we play, managed to play out that first over quite well. And that was the last over of the day. So, on day two, we'd have to come back, bat nicely, get ourselves in the lead, and then hopefully try and bowl them out quickly. As I've noticed, Ambrose has an average of 56.83. Must be 
mostly due to that 102 not out. But it's Reese bowling here to Ambrose on 29. And he works that away into the onside. And we're going to charge back for two. That's good running. The more quick twos and threes you can pick up, and, and ones to be fair, the better your score's going to be. Is we almost get run out there after a brilliant stop from the short, the, from the silly mid off, and then Ambrose hits him again. But we get off the mark here with a lovely flick onto the leg side. Ideal, ideal, ideal down in the bottom of the screen and it's four runs to start our innings as we flick that one away there's should be two there oh it's actually going it might go for four it did oh what a two fours in a row well actually separated by a dot ball but two fours in the over nice stuff but here we go facing reese reese we go for a big smack through the offside just a single, though, due to the cover sweeper out on the boundary. But Ambrose here on 39, closing in on 50, flicks it away, quick single. I think he would have made it anyway if that had hit. But early calls and you'll make it. And if we push that one into the gap, we got to go here. I think we would have been out if that one had hit. It was some good fielding apart from the throw. Thought it was going to beat that fielder. He knocked that into the gap but this time we don't get so lucky with the throw it hits the stumps and the umpire has no hesitation in giving Ambrose out run out for 42 and now the score is 5 for 154 as you see here it looks like it's going to go nicely into the gap but the fielder runs and covers some good ground and it's a very good accurate throw when he didn't have much to aim at hitting the middle stump and Ambrose was gone. And now we were joined by Dave Sutherland. So we hit that one nicely down the ground into that gap. Doesn't look like it'll go for four. We might get three. No, it looks like it'll just be a two added to our scores. We move to 12. Here we go, facing Reese again. Going for the sweep shot. We'll pick up a quick single. Well, it wasn't really a quick single, but anyway, a single. Nonetheless, here we go, facing Warwick, nicely knocked into the gap there, that one is rolling away, that might go for four, no, it's well cut off by the boundary riding fielder, and we'll pick up three with Sutherland racing back for the last run, here we go, facing Reese again, that one's there to be hit, and it's swept nicely, and we will hurry back for two, and it's good running, we make it comfortably. Here we go. We've brought the our trailing margin down to just the 107. And we go for the sweep again. This one just be a single since it's straight to the fielder. And now Warwick bowling to us again. Nicely nudged into the cover gap. That one will just be a single though. And here we are looking to go more aggressive due to the defensive tactic not working too well as we pick up another single into the cover region. Heading bowling now. That one was a bit slower. Worked it off the pads. We'll charge back for two and due to our speed we'll make it. And we're going along nicely here. It's a run rate of 4.18 I think. But we did completely get beaten all ends up there from heading last ball of the over. Here we go, Sutherland being bowled to by Warwick and Sutherland smacks that one away. For a boundary, takes the score to 5 for 176. Here we get a short ball, it's well cut away. There's no man back there. It's not going to reach the boundary though, so we'll turn back and look for 3. And I probably could, we probably could have run 4 there but we're just unsure whether they'd throw to Sutherland's end or not. But here, we flick that one away nicely. It looks like that one's going to go to the boundary, and it races away as well. What a lovely shot. Now we're on 30. And that's a great pull shot as well. What a great... Two falls in a row. Some great hitting. 
He is heading bowling. It's, that's a great on drive. Ideal, ideal, ideal down the bottom. That one will go for four as well, and we've been timing it very well in our 30s and 20s of this innings as Sutherland slices that one away and it will race to the boundary. It's been some great counter-attacking innings. We've pulled the score up to almost 200 and that cut shot will bring up the 200 for the Sunshine Coast. 5 for 201 after 45 overs. And we are racing along. That pull shot will pick up two as the fielder comes around to get it. Good return there, back from the deep. Two runs off well, that. If you compare us to where Gold Coast were, we're much well a long way ahead as we look to have, we've got another four. What another great drive. That one more squarer and it brought up the fifty partnership between us and Sutherland as we move to forty eight. This one the pull shot off the back foot. Uh, look for two but we decide against it just to make sure we don't want to get out before reaching our first 50. But here, through another lovely drive, we'll reach 50 with a boundary for our first one in club cricket, hopefully the first of many. It's the umpire signals for, we raise the bat to the crowd, 53 off 50 balls, a strike rate of 106 with, I think, eight fours it was. Let's watch the replay Beautiful drive through the gap between cover and point, beating the wide mid off on the boundary to the rope and four runs. And uh, as well as that, we've also brought the trailing margin back down to just the 57. So we defend that one from Mick Mason, though probably could have gone to the boundary. Wasn't the best of balls. We take a look at our 50 here on the wagon wheel, two threes couple of ones and twos and some nice boundaries as well. Looking good. Here we go. Murphy comes on to bowl. We have a big smack at that one. And I'm confused as to how that didn't knock over the off stump. And here Sutherland is facing Murphy. A lovely straight drive down the ground. And it beats the fielder to the rope. As he moves to... 20, that would have been 23. But that's a very attacking, powerful shot from us. Races to the boundary. Nothing the fielders could do about that. What a powerful shot. Smash. Here, Mick Mason bowling to us again. Pitched up. Smacked through mid-wicket. Will this one reach the boundary? Actually, that one might hold up. Yeah, it will. We'll turn... And we'll race back for a third run. What great running from us and Sutherland. But here, a nice square drive out to the deep point to pick up another single. So we move the score to 5 for 2, 3, 1. And the trailing margin is now down to just 35. Go for the big sweep shot. And there's lots of space out there. That one, will, no, it won't go to the, f the boundary for 4. And it'll just be a two. But this has been great innings. We move to 63. Driven into the gap there. We'll pick up another two. Sutherland will have to charge back, but he'll make it quite comfortably in the end as well. And now it's five for two, three, nine. That one, full toss. Smash. Unfortunately, there's a fielder out there. And it'll just be a single, but we'll keep the strike for the next over. And the score ticks over to 240. We now 30 runs behind as we pick up a single as the ball deflects off the silly mid-off's leg. That's another nice drive out to the fielder. Just a single again, though. We're moving along in singles here. And Sutherland has made his way to 30. Here we go. We're on 68. That one didn't turn very much, it might have been the wrong end and we completely missed the sweep and we try and step across and flick that one away and it is beats the bat and finally the sweep shot at first I thought that it came off the pad and was surprised when the umpire gave me out but as we will see from the replay coming up soon it definitely came off the glove. 
Yeah, let's have a look here. You can't really tell from there. You can tell that it was either the glove or arm from that one. But there's a better replay coming up here. But we're out for 68. A decent score and an important innings out. Bowl Reese caught Hodge, and that brought Delhi to the crease. But here we'll have a look at the replay. A good view here. This is probably the first time I used the new interactive replay thing, so I wasn't particularly good at it, but as we can see there, it's come off the glove, right off the back part of the glove. We'll have another look at it from this angle, but you'll be able to see there. Well, that one's not as conclusive, that angle, but I think this last one you can clearly see. Yeah, look at that, right off the glove. Yeah, look at that. So definitely out, and that left the score at two for six for two, four, three. Not two for six, four, three, unfortunately. And hopefully Sutherland and the tail enders could get us a good lead with us only about 30 behind, I think. But in the end, we got 380, thanks to some good hitting at the end of the innings from Stain, I think it was. But, as we just check here, Stain, Goulam and Kerrigan all made decent contributions with Sutherland's 122 not out, getting us to 389. So... Great stuff from Sutherland, a good innings from us, and also a good contribution from Phillips and Ambrose, as well as the tailenders sticking in. But I believe that will be all for today's episode, as we just see Gold Coast are 1 for 36 in their second innings. But that will be it for today's episode. Thank you for watching. Sorry about my absence for the past few weeks and have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.